Hello everyone, as you all know, I am currently off the shelf already. I got married on the 10th of May, this Monday. Yeah, so I also documented the marriage process and I'll be sharing it with you. If you want to know more about the marriage process, right, I'll also be sharing it at the end of the video. But meanwhile, just enjoy my marriage process. Yeah. Okay, look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not filming. 
Okay, so these two getting married and then I need to zoom in to this. Waiting, waiting to go in.
So some people have shared that they don't know how to get married So anyway, I'll just do a very short introduction on how to get married So basically you just go to the RM website Then they also have a, like three steps on how to get married So basically you just file a notice of marriage online Then you go down to do the VDSD So this will need to bring some documents like a uh, copy of your witness ICs and then your own ICs and the notice of marriage Okay, then the marriage solemnization is what you just saw just now It's the entire marriage solemnization So the VDSD right usually will be like one week before your actual marriage solemnization Then when you file your notice of marriage online right You need to like file it maybe like uh, at least like to I think about one month in advance You cannot like file it like one day before you want to get married It's not really possible Yep So always plan in advance when you want to get married Okay so basically yeah that's very easy Just these steps And then I think you need to pay some fee when you file the notice of marriage online So I was going to get married last year actually But Covid hit So Actually, uh, the ROM uh, refunded us the money and then we launched it this year again. Yep. If you have any questions, you can also ask me. I don't mind answering your questions. Yep. That's all. And then um, for the rest of the day, we also had like uh, bridal stuff to settle. So we also took some photos of our bridal stuff. You can continue to enjoy them or else if you are in have enough of this marriage stuff you can just shut the video now. Yep. Thank you.
Okay, so those are the dresses that I will not be wearing for my actual day. I just tried them on but I didn't really like them. So just showing y'all. You have to see the actual one at my actual wedding. Yep. Okay, now um, I think that's all. So now I'll be sharing some concluding thoughts. So basically, uh, married life is the same as non married life. Yeah, because I will still be having to stay at my own house and also at my current husband's house. But I'll still interchange between the two houses because our BTO house isn't ready yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be ready in September this year, but it has been delayed because of COVID. Yep. This delays our baby making plans. Yep. Oh yes, I empathize with all the other couples who are trying to get married during this period because it's so uncertain. It's like you don't even know whether you can invite 100 people or 50 people to your wedding. And my wedding is going to be on like 17 July. I currently don't even know whether I can invite 100 people. So. I might have to de-invite some people if it's cut down to 50. I definitely will not be doing the swap test because it's not like... I don't think anyone wants to do a swap test anyway. Yeah. And I think like vaccinated people don't need to do the swap test, right? I'm not even sure about... Okay, I'm not very sure about the rules because my wedding is still a bit far away and like... I think no point making plans when the plans can just totally change based on the government rules as and when they want. Yeah. Well, yeah, what I meant by married life is the same is if you had already uh, been living together with each other before because once you start living with each other there will be more like more ta more ta means like frictions la. yeah so if you haven't been living together before the marriage I would suggest that y'all live together during the marriage before the marriage yeah just try to talk to your um, traditional parents to let them know of the benefits because you don't want to like live together and then find out all the nasty stuff about your other partner and then decide to get a divorce right no point right yeah so just maybe show them my view yeah okay so for all those who are planning to get married good luck and 早生贵子 and I uh, hope you all live together blissfully yep that's the end of the video Thank you everyone, bye bye!